Alright guys, today I'm going to explain how an overflow box works. There's a couple ways to drain water into your sump tank, uh, but today we're going to talk about how overflow boxes work. So as you can see here, I've got my sump tank. That water dripping is just from my refugium. And uh, it, you can see these two uh, lines here, or these two tubes. And uh, this larger one is the draining tube from my overflow box. You can see back there that big tube coming out of the white or clear part of the overflow box. And then uh, the smaller tube here is connected to a pump, a water pump. And it's sending water back up my tank and it's coming into my main tank here. So what this lets us do is have the water from the main tank and the sump tank or refugium go back and forth and it allows you to uh, have a sump. And sumps are used for many things. But in this video, like I said, we're going to talk about how the overflow box works. When I first got it, it took me, you know, not too long. I understood the, uh, you know, physics of it, I guess you could say. But it took me a minute to figure out how it works, and many people have asked me how they work. So what I'm going to show you here, mine's really salty. I've had it set up for a long time. What happens here is there's this black box. And the black box, as you can see those slits in it, those slits are right by the top of the water level. You can't really see them inside the tank because water's going into them. It's really hard to see them. The water's going into them and they're right near the top of the water level. And as uh, water comes into the main tank, uh, then the water goes into this black box. Now you'll notice that there is a tube here from the black box going into the left side of the clear back box that hangs off the back of the tank. This uh, tube is always underwater because the back box is split in half. As water uh, flows into this section, it goes over, it, it over uh, flows into this side, and then it drains down into my sump tank. This uh, left side is slightly lower than this black box's top water level. Now this may all sound really confusing, but I've got a demonstration to show how this works. Really simple. So. Uh, what makes this work is the main tank gaining water. The main tank gains water by this pump sending water from the sump up to the main tank. So what I got here is a little demonstration. Now this is exactly what we have right here. So consider this the black box and consider this the white box. There's no drain tube going to the sump but this would be draining into the sump eventually. This is going to be you know this box. This box has two sections but we're just basically talking about the left side here. So what happens here is when water comes into the main tank it flows into the black box and then we have this tube from the black box to the clear box. So let's see what happens when we add water to the black box. I'm spilling. It's okay. It's not salt water. It's normal water. This tube is really small so it's not going to be an instant. But as you'll see when we add water to the black box, it sends it over to the clear box because this wants to equal out the water levels. And like I said, I got a small tube, so there's a small, uh, a very slow flow. But as you can see, the water levels are equaling out. So we'll come back and look at this, and I'll show you how equal they get in a second. So what's happening here is when water comes into here, it's flowing through here into the left side and then it's able to spill over and go into the uh, drain tube. Now if the pump stops pumping water, that's okay. Let's say your electricity goes off, <clears throat> that's okay. Because what's going to happen is, as you can see these are pretty much leveled out now, what's going to happen is if the water stops coming up to the main tank, if, let's say the power goes out, this black box won't empty. It'll only empty down to the bottom of those lines and then this tube will still stay underwater. There's still a few inches in there. The back box as well, but it won't empty past that ridge. So the water levels will equal out between the two tanks and just like we have here, the tube will stay underwater. If the power comes back on and the pump starts pumping water again, I don't have any water left, then the water will start going back into the black box and continue the cycle. This is what's important to make sure it's always uh, underwater and has proper flow so you don't get air bubbles in it. Um, but basically that's how a sump works. 
I just wanted to do this little demonstration and show it and hopefully that kind of explains to you guys how it all works. The overflow box just drains water based on water coming into the main tank. The thing that runs it all is the water pump shooting the water up. So I just wanted to explain that. Hopefully that clears it up and uh, explains to some people how it works. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Happy pet keeping, and we'll see you guys later.